Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the sample rate for your microphone is not supported error you are coming across on your Windows computer. So, you might be having issues with your Windows update, perhaps there's something up with your Xbox application service or the Xbox app. So, we're going to go ahead and hopefully resolve the problem without too much of a hassle, and I'm going to go through a few simple and easy troubleshooting methods that should hopefully get you guys back up and running. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best match should come back with troubleshoot settings. So go ahead and left click on that. On the right side you want to scroll down underneath get up and running and locate the recording audio section. So find and fix problems with recording sound and then select Run the Troubleshooter. So if it is able to find anything, I'd recommend suggesting applying the fix, and then hopefully it would have been able to resolve the problem. So the next thing I want you guys to try would be to open up the SAR menu. So just go left click on that one time. Type in mmsys.cpl. Again, mmsys.cpl. Just go ahead and left click on that. Should open up sound here. Go ahead and left click on the recording tab. And then select your microphone. Select properties down the bottom here. Select the Properties button. Select Change Settings. Now select the Driver tab. And now select Update Driver. Search automatically for updated driver software. Windows will search your computer and the internet for the latest driver software for your device unless you've disabled this feature in your device installation settings. Go left click on that. So hopefully, then at this point, once you restart your computer, you should be good to go. You can also try actually uninstalling the device too. So you can select uninstall device instead of selecting update driver. So if you selected that and then select uninstall, you're going to have to restart your computer. So just go select yes. So I didn't mean to click yes the second time to close out of everything, but you guys see the system is restarting. And hopefully they would have been able to resolve the problem. You can also attempt to run a Windows update check as well probably wouldn't hurt to try that as well and that should hopefully be about it. Just wanted to give you guys a few different methods on how to hopefully go about resolving your issue. So as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.